Hi everybody. As promised, there are the summer packets. I'm going to be sending or bringing you your packets along with each person will get a block of post-it notes and each person will get a red, green, and blue folder. Now, I haven't written this on here. I want you to do it. Small in the upper right hand corner on the green one, write too easy. In the upper right hand corner on the red one, write too hard. And then on the blue-ish purple one, write completed. Anything that is finished goes in here. Anything that your student tries to do and there's just no way it's over their head, then you put it in the too hard. And if they're just flying through the first few pages like it was kindergarten work for them, then take it from them, put it in here, and go on to the next level. I try to include at least two, if not three, levels for each of the topics. Um, things like writing, there is only one for it. So you may have to, um, if they can't do it, just put it aside and don't worry about it. Each student gets a stack of these papers. There's 11 of them stapled together. They are called assignment sheets. Sorry, this is probably going to flip on you when you're watching it, isn't it? So anyway, each of the categories is written down the side there. When they are in school, what they do is they just put a check mark stating that they have accomplished that activity. Um, for long story comprehension and short story comprehension, those they have to read and do all the work related to the story. Everything else all the way down is just one page, like one page of writing, one page of math, one page of phonics, that sort of thing. I don't like it when they sit down and they do 10 pages of phonics in a row because it's easy and they don't want to do the grammar. So I have them do one or two pages and then go to the next topic. You don't have to use these assignment sheets. I just thought since they've been trained in using these in school that you could um, have them continue it at home. Not every person will have every one of those items. As you can see, they are labeled by post-it notes that are hanging out here. Um, I know that everybody doesn't have spelling and everybody doesn't have math, and I'm not sure that everybody has phonics. I know not everybody has sight words. Um, to the best of my ability, I put them um, from easiest to, let's see here. So the math, the first page says math, and then as it goes down the list, they get more and more difficult. So start at the top and go down. All right. Now... Um, if you have any questions about what you should be doing, please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, just because it's summer doesn't mean that I stop answering my phone or answering email. So it's best if you use school email, unless of course you don't hear from me within 48 hours, then send me a text to tell me to check my school email so that way I know I need to go get it. Okay, I think I'm done now. So, any questions, let me know, and I will be dropping this off to you in the next three days. I hope everybody has a wonderful summer. Please give your kids a hug for me and tell them I miss them. And I realize it's only June, but I can't wait for school to start, especially if we're really going to have it in person. All right, we'll see you later. Bye.